Okay, so in this section, what did we learn? Well, we saw now the definition of segment descriptors inside the things like GDTs and LDTs. A segment descriptor can be pointing at a code or data or stack segment, which just is some chunk of memory, but practically speaking, if it's CSDS, ES, or SS, it may have information in there, but the only information that's actually being used is the access information. Right? We said the base and the limit are, for all intents and purposes, zero and the entire 64-bit address space. In the LDT, you can also have segment descriptors, which will also have the option to create code and data segments or you know, various gates of different types we're going to learn about in a bit. And then we briefly saw the LDT descriptor itself is a 16-byte descriptor, which is extended so that it can have a 64-bit value to point at the base of the LDT. So this should really be pointing at the base of the LDT, but maybe they're again saying, you know, this information gets cached into the, LD, the hidden portion of the LDT register.